Okay, in this lesson you are going to learn how to put his hands behind him or in front of him like this. This is what we want. We want to take a copy, a duplicate of his left arm and his right arm. We're going to focus in this lesson on his left arm, okay? Okay, first of all, duplicate by hitting Ctrl D. Right now it says left arm 2. So I'm going to select it, hit enter and rename it. Delete that 2 and write back. I am I'm back almost. And I'm going to take that object and bring it down. By clicking on it, dragging it below the body layer. There you go. So this is what I have right now. Oh, by the way, if you hit the middle button, you can do the same on the timeline that you could do on the composition panel. So you can either scroll with your mouse wheel. Okay, so let's keep going. This is what I have right now. I can turn off the visibility and look here. Aha! Wow, this is exactly the effect that I want. The sad news is that this visibility cannot be animated. So, what can I do? Oh, this is something else that I can do. If I press T, haha, this can be animated. So, this is good news. The bad news is that if I'm animating here, using this handler, uh, I have to go all the way looking for the arm, then the opacity, then bring it down, which I don't like. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a switch in here, like the one for the IK orientation, yes, and put another one that says front back. First of all, let's select all of this and click on this little triangle to collapse them. <laughs> they are waiting to be used, but I'm not going to use them. <laughs> So here's how you add an effect. You click on effect. With the handler selected, click on effect. Then expression controls, then checkbox control. There you go. Now I'm going to rename it. You select it, hit enter, and let's name it front back back there you go now click and drag below the IK orientation and right now it doesn't do anything nothing is happening you see <laughs> of course not because I haven't done anything with it this is what I'm going to do I need the layer of this handler just above this left arm so that handler is left hand controller so let's look for it here we have right hand and left hand you just ignore the ones that have this little square and just take this one okay left hand I'm going to put it just above the left arm there you go now if you hit E you bring out the effects you see front to back that's our effect Th these effects are exactly these same effects okay but you can use them from here why because I want to have access to them to this checkbox this is what I'm going to do I'm going to use an expression what's an expression well this is an expression an expression is ta -da 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 -da. it's better if I give you an example I'm going to I'm going to hold the Alt key and then click on this stopwatch. That's how you add an expression. There's expression for opacity. And this is the expression transform opacity. So instead of transform opacity, I'm going to type uh, 50. 
So now it has an opacity of 50%. Aha, uh -huh. okay. What happens if I try to type 40? No, 50. What? Uh, 100. No, 50. Why? Because you're telling me to. Ah, okay. So if I put 50 plus 10, it gives me 60, you see? Oh, okay, okay, I'm getting it. So what I'm going to do is pick whip this expression and link it to this checkbox. Haha. <laughs> now, you can get out of this box by clicking outside of it. Or, I'm going to click on this expression again. Or you can hit enter, but careful, not the enter of the letters beside the letters, but the enter on your numpad. There you go. Okay. Let's see what we have done. Okay, so if I pick this, I only ha I only have to check. Hey, whoa! It's not working. Of course not. Because when you hit. Oh, by the way, if you click on this checkbox, you can see here it says on and off, right? So I'm going to access that on off from here. Look at this percentage. One, zero. That's the values they're giving me. Also, how do I get it to 10? I mean to 10 to 100. Well, multiplying it. 100 multiply by 100 and what does it give you 1 multiplied by 100 gives you 100 and 0 multiplied by 100 <laughs> 1 no it gives you 0 okay so that's why this is working hey i like this so i'm going to do the same thing with the right hand. That's going to be a quick review for the next tutorial.